Okay, now we're going to Okay, now we're going to make a uh, truss from start to finish and hopefully um, we'll be able to get through it. I've gone to new, make a new model. I'm going to say no for changing, uh, saving the old model. Um, I've selected millimeters like that. Uh, we're going to go end view. We're going to grab our little rectangle tool, all stuff we've done before. So if you're not following this, you need to have gone through the videos. I'm going to go 6, comma 6 because that's 6 by 6. And as you can see, um, if I swipe two fingers down on the mouse pad and then I keep, I use my hand tool, I keep the origin in view, keep sweeping down, keep the origin in view, you can see our 6 by 6 box there. So now I'm going to grab another view. I am going to grab a push-pull tool and I'm going to click on here and drag it out and I'm going to make it 400 millimeters because this truss is going to be 400 millimeters long. Then I'm going to go back to um, the view that I want, which is this one here, the side view. So that's a 400 millimeter um, truss that um, we've just made there, about six by six. And now we're going to um, zoom into one end of it. We're going to use our tape measure to, mo um, to make little lines that we're going to use to line up our truss members with. So we grab our tape measure tool. We go to the middle point here. We're going to make marks that are 50 centimetres apart. You'll see why in a moment. So I go 50, enter 50 in the bottom right hand corner. Hit enter, it goes out to 50. Next one will be, um, will be 100. Sorry. Control Z if you make a mistake. Click on the midpoint there when it goes blue. We're going to go up to 100. Enter. That one's gone out to 100. So the next one we're going to take out to 150. And then we're going to go 200. So we go like that. We type 200 in the bottom right hand corner. And next one's going to be 250. Enter. You can't see them because they're bouncing off to the right. I will zoom out and I'll show you in a minute. And then we're going to go 300. And then finally 350. And um, if we zoom back, we should be able to see we made lots of nice little vertical marks that we can line up our truss with. So now what we're going to do um, is um, what we can do is use our selection tool. And we're going to go triple click. And we're going to make this into a group. Oh, that's a group now. And now we're going to grab our move tool. We're going to zoom in a little bit just so we can see what we're doing. <clears throat> um, we're going to grab our move tool. Control click. Control click. And there's our duplicate. And then we are going to grab our rotate tool. And if, you, if it's changing planes on you, and you don't want it to change planes, it's not doing it now, but it can sometimes do that, you can hold down the shift key, it'll stay in the plane that you want. So we're going to move along here, and we're going to move that up. And at the moment it says in the bottom right hand corner 37, we want to make these 45 degrees. Hit enter, that's now at 45 degrees. Um, also what we might want to do is um, we can double click on this item, and we can grab our pen tool and we'll just zoom in a bit and we're just going to trim off this edge here make it um, nice and uh -oh. control Z if you stuff up bottom right hand corner and then we're going to grab a push pull tool and we're going to push that back and we've trimmed it nicely so we can use this as a um, as a trust member. So what you might want to do is go triple click one two three. Uh, actually, before we do that, we'll right click on it, <coughs> we'll explode it, and then we'll click outside and we'll go one two three. Right click and we'll say make into a component this time, and we'll call it trust member. So that's our trust member. And if we zoom back, we want to put this onto this uh, end, end of this beam. So we can now use our beautiful orbit tool, which is that one there. And we can spin this around. And we're going to use our move tool. 
grab a hand tool. Can you see how you can use um, orbit and um, hand tool to get the view where I want it to be? So I can see what I'm doing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our um, move tool. At the moment it's on rotate. Uh, we're going to grab that one. And we're going to grab this corner here. And we're going to try and put it on the end of our beam here. I didn't join that properly, so I'll try again. Click, click. Okay. A click. I did click once, I think. Um, <clears throat> you might have to play with that. And then if we rotate this around, we can see that um, we've got start of our bridge. So now what we want, might want to do is grab our move tool again, control click this, click. What does control click do? It gives us another um, beam. Okay, so th that's all well and good um, that we've got that second beam, but it's facing the wrong way. We need to rotate it. Okay, so what do we do to rotate? We um, grab our rotate tool and we can zoom ourselves in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And we hold down shift because we're in the right plane and we jump up onto here and we go boom, boom. And then um, we type in 180 because we want to swing it around 180 degrees. And Bob's your uncle, we've swung it around 180 degrees. So if we um, if we zoom back again, now what we want to do is we want to move this so that it's in the right position. So click back to our move tool and we're going to grab this here. We're going to move it so that it's going to be sitting somewhere there. But we can't really see what we're doing at the moment. So I'm going to rotate the view. So we can see um, where we're going to line this up. And we want this here to line up with there. So we need to change our move tool. We need to grab that line there and we'll gra drag it back until it um, uh, we'll click and it's in position. Now we'll just make sure that that looks right. And it does. Okay. So we've got one truss there. What do we want to do now? Seven minutes in, we almost get our first member done. Um, at the moment, you can see that um, we've got, we'll select the right truss. Now, if I double click, click outside, if I double click, um, what I can do is, I double click to select the right hand side, I grab my pen tool, which is what we've done before, click there and click there, and then if I grab my push-pull tool, hopefully, when I push this back, it cuts them both because they're components. So we now have um, a situation where we've got our first arch of our truss. So that's really handy. Um, now what I can do is, one, two, three, I can triple click them all right click and I'm going to say uh, make component I'm going to call it truss arch and go okay so that's our truss arch um, so as you can see I can select one part or the other now if I want to select both I can hold down shift I can I can click once, hold down shift and click again. When I hold down shift, it adds to the selection. So we want to reproduce that whole situation. So how do we do that? We can grab our move tool. We know we've done this before. We can grab a point. Um, I'm gonna grab that point there. Go control click. And then we can grab it and we can drag it out. And be and then hit enter and before I do anything um, I can um, go star three down in the bottom right hand side and this will save us a lot of work they could just keep reproducing until we get our four trusses 
If we go star three and we go enter, hopefully what's happened um, is you can see there, I'll just get this in the center. By going star three, I've managed to save myself a lot of work because I've now got all of those um, done in one go as a copy. So if you, if, you, if you just give that a try, that star three can save you a whole lot of um, reproducing. But otherwise you can just keep going copy, move, copy, move, copy, move. You have the skill to do that. So it's up to you, but star, try it. Um, it could be a really useful, and if we've done this right, when we um, um, when we um, when we do this, what, what what will happen is you'll be able to um, that was just the cleaner coming in. <laughs> uh, you'll be able to rotate, and you'll be able to see that your sorry, that's not your rotate. I'm oh, sorry, the orbit tool. You're able to see that the end here it all lines up really nicely. So that's a very close to being a completed truss. Last thing I would say we can do um, before we go into the next video is we'll zoom in a little bit, grab our hand tool, um, and we're going to grab our rectangle tool, and we're going to do a top member here, okay, to hold the top together. We go down, down, and then we're going to drag this across and down. And we're going to make this um, uh, 300, 300 comma 6, because they're, they're all 6 by 6, these beams. If we go enter, we've got a, um, a beam set up. And then what we want to do is grab our push-pull tool, and we want to drag this towards our cells. Now, is it going to let me do it? If not, we'll have to... Um, I'll grab our push pull tool and pull it out. And see, it says 10 millimeters down the bottom. We, of course, we want that to be six. We go enter. So now, if I um, select the whole thing, and the best way of doing that is just go get the selection tool, drag a box around the whole thing. Um, we actually have to get the thing centered in the screen to do that. I'll click outside. Oh, I'm allergic to SketchUp. Um, and we'll select the whole thing. And then we will right click and say, make component. And we're gonna call this truss. That's the whole truss. So that, um, believe it or not, is how we do a truss. And it's taken me 13 minutes. But as you can see, we now have a truss, a completed truss, using all the skills, plus a new one that we learned, that star three for reproducing. But um, you can see here, we are well on the way to designing a bridge, and we have all the skills we need to use this program. Uh, hope you've enjoyed that. 13 minutes um, gets us a good way into um, building a bridge. And um, next video, I'll show you how to reproduce this and finish this off.